right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Business Showcase series. Today I'm with Justin Wood. Justin Wood, yes. yes. And Thank we are at The Scribe. The Scribe Bookstore. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, yeah. Justin. Thank you so much, Fu. Yeah. Yes. This is a really yeah. cool space. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about The Scribe. Like, what, what do you guys offer here? So essentially, the scribe is a rare bookstore. Rare is a very broad term. Essentially, mm -hmm. it means we specialize in modern first editions, um, vintage books, Victorian bindings, and antiquarian books. So antiquarian is anything pre-1830. Wow. Um, so we have things as far back as the 13th century here. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. Pretty cool. <laughs> so, and it's a massive collection. I mean, yes. There's so many books here. There's about 20,000 books here. We have wow. a basement full with about 15,000 books. And you're <laughs> operating this thing all by yourself? Pretty much. Every single book here I bought and um, I priced and I have about four staff right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how'd you get into this business? Were you always selling books? Or? When I was 26, out of desperation, I started a, a basically five, with five books. Okay. So it, it's been a long journey. It's been a crazy journey. And it's sometimes when you get obsessed with something, mm -hmm. it turns into something special for mm -hmm. sure. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. like, where'd your passion for literature come from? I have a degree in literature. Okay. Um, so obviously it was an easy, yeah. easy transition for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's also a blending of the history too and the artistry of the book. I, I love art and I love history. So everything kind of just got together in a perfect type of career gotcha. um, but obviously you need to work really hard finding this stuff it's, yeah. it's not very easy to find it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, and I mean we're in Riverdale so we're on Danforth yes. basically Chester and Danforth yes how did you pick this location like why this oh, community yeah I mean Danforth is is such a beautiful area and demographics it's just so it's so cool it's a blending of like young um, young people interested in collecting books mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, new families and mm -hmm. it just seems like the perfect place to start a, my first bookstore yeah. plus the location is just so ideal yeah. uh, right across from the subway and um, the two display windows like that's the first thing I saw yeah. uh, when I got it and I'm like wow this is just like a perfect type of um, you know display mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, you know I fell in love with it straight away I had to open up the back here there was rooms when I first okay. saw it uh -huh. um, but I smashed all the walls down and then opened it up and I'm like this is exactly what I was looking for in terms of space because you don't want it to be too overwhelming yeah because it, since it's my first store it's you know that's a lot of work to, mm -hmm. to have anything more than this mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so so this is like just ideal in every way in terms of size very good yeah and you're being yeah. being this year like this being your first store yeah to get everything you wanted all mm -hmm. at once is pretty it's rare it's very it's very strange yeah, yeah. Um, before covid i um was looking around college street and um but honestly the walk by traffic wasn't the same mm -hmm. and i was going to take a place but i decided to hold off and I find that like it, it was just meant to, it was in my cards, I guess you would say. Um, That's good. Yeah, that this was waiting for me at some point. And uh, I'm so glad I feel so positive here. It's mm -hmm. a very nice feeling and everybody seems to agree. It's like they walk in here and they really feel the energy. That's awesome. Um, and, and I'm super happy to be here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. ask you this question as a business owner. Yes. What yeah. kind of like risks have you had to take? Like where, you know, yes. At what point did you feel like, oh man, this is, this is too much. I don't think I can handle this. Yeah. I mean, there's certain risks you got to take in any business. In 2018, um, I, I got offered um, 25,000 books from somebody. And, um, you mean like a collection? A collection of 25,000 books, at least. I think it could have been more than that. Okay. It was all held in a warehouse. Uh -huh. And a lot of booksellers decided not to go for it because it was just such a, you know, kind of daunting type of undertaking. Mm -hmm. um, but I went for it and it really put me on the map because it allowed me to meet other booksellers. Sure. Um, and, and connect with them, try to mm -hmm. sell them things. And um, also I found some great stuff to kind of get my inventory more uh, impressive too. Oh, okay, so okay. so yeah, it was that was a huge risk for me because- So that was like a capital investment basically to buy yeah, the collection. Yeah, because it's, front. especially when you see that many books, you don't know what you're going to expect, right? It mm -hmm. could be really bad. You, mm -hmm. you might find like 
10 great books, but then mm. the rest could be of no value. Mm. Um, mm. But, um, you know, I, wh I've, I did a look through and okay. then and then I'm like, you know what, I have a really good feeling about this. Mm -hmm. So I took a chance and then it, it took me five months to get through those books. Like I was just putting them in different locations and trying to figure out what was good and what was bad. But mm -hmm. it also educated me too about rare books and, mm -hmm. and first editions and, and authors that I really need to have in stock because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, you know you think you know a lot about book selling but then when you see that many books you realize how little you know yeah, um, yeah. so that was that and was you kind of jump two feet in like, like yeah. straight into the deep end basically. exactly yeah I That's mean awesome. it, it's really cool um, looking back on that it's like I mean hindsight's 2020 I think I did a lot of mistakes um, handling that that uh, that many books because mm -hmm. I, I offered it to other booksellers too but okay. um, regardless I still found great stuff and um, it, m it made me build relationships with other booksellers, which go. is very important too. And it started you down yeah. this path. It exactly. You start down a path and then you kind yeah. of self-correct. 100%. And yeah. it allows me, your tolerance level grows mm -hmm. because I don't get scared when I see that many books there anymore. Exactly. Um, so that also helps. Um, but it's um, it's still one of those things where you may never get another opportunity like that again, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not like I knew I was going to have a bookstore. Mm. So if I knew that was in my cards too, then I would probably um, keep everything. Yeah. <laughs> so well, life doesn't work like that, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, 100%. Yeah. yeah, you just go with the flow. Yeah, you get rewarded for the yes. risks you take. And then obviously yes. there's got to be some due diligence. 100%. I'm sure you did some... You know, yes. initial upfront kind of yes. assessment of like, can yes. I sell these things? What am I buying them for? What are they worth? Yes. At, you know, on the market. One hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. awesome. Well, yeah. Do you have any like really cool kind of like uh, little little things to show off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something to show off. <laughs> yeah, I can show you this because we just keep it in the tell. It's so small. Um, that's that's a thing that we show off. So this is from the eighteen oh, hundreds, wow. and it's a miniature Bible. And the fact that it's still in this condition is wow. is really that's that's really Can the, I hold the it? yeah the scarcity of the condition, wow. right? And so, there's oh, and there's yeah. text in here. There's text, and it's uh, little wow. quotes from the Bible. Um, so back in the eighteen hundreds, they were definitely very uh, obsessed with creating uh, miniatures. Yeah, and, uh, you, you, know, you guys can see that on the camera, but we'll do a little close up after. Yeah, wow. exactly. So that's that's something that you know uh, I, I love showing people because um, it sh it kind of shows you how the printing process developed mm. and how they were obsessed to create like like basically push the printing press or the into like different forms like something this small right mm -hmm. i've actually seen books smaller than this even smaller than um, that. basically your index finger wow which is like you know who who can read yeah. that? <laughs> it's yeah. really not not even uh, a possibility of reading that right? was that in the yeah. in the collection or did you find no that separately? no i actually worked at another rare bookstore um mm -hmm. called contact editions mm -hmm. for five years and mm -hmm. i bought that for my boss he had the uh, little little Bibles and um, other interesting little miniatures that I bought from him at one point in time. Gotcha. And um, I realized it's just fun to kind of keep that not for sale, but just just to show people. Yeah, um, that's very cool. Yeah. And I bet there's tons of little things that you can find in all these books. Oh, a hundred percent. Like little inscriptions, yes. um, old inscriptions. A lot of people love that. They love um, seeing that. Um, but um, yeah, it, that's the thing. It depends on what you gravitate towards. Everybody mm. kind of, when they come in here, they, um, you know, they, they go for either literature or nonfiction, but mm -hmm. they have um, a certain thing that they do love. Mm -hmm. And um, if they find something old with an inscription, it kind of means something, right? Mm. It's just like, the time travel, right? Yep. It's it's yep. like you're holding something that somebody held like a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, yep. and yep. it's it's kind of um, you know magical in yeah. a sense. Right? A lot of yeah. intrinsic value, I bet, that you can find in, in, in these books. Yes, yes. I, the cool. way the way I see it, it's like it's the blending of artistry, yes. history, and the content. Absolutely, it's all three things going together. So. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the reason why I've always wanted to create a rare bookstore. But again, rare is, is a very broad term because we also sell normal, like just new books Regular too. Books. Um, yeah. If they're a classic, then we want to have it in stock too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to be just, um, you know, rare Got it. As, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, the best thing yeah. that I would I would suggest for anybody interested mm -hmm. is to come by, yeah. have a look, come in store. I mean, yeah. there's, there are way too many things for us to even like, <laughs> like list through. Um, exactly. But that's yeah. me. And you have an art room in the back. Yeah. So we sell um, prints. Like we have a whole section of prints um, as far back as the 1700s um, for sale for like $10. 
I mean, you can't beat that. Like no, you en can't. engravings from from the 1700s um, with like medical engravings, uh, in insects or birds and mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Beautiful for your wall decoration too. Very interesting. Yes, um, and we also have a rare room upstairs with full of even more stuff. Wow. Um, expensive so you stuff. have something for everybody, yeah. basically. Pretty much everybody, yeah. yes. That's yes. awesome. Great. Well, thanks a lot for having thank me. You, thank that you, Vuk. Thank you so much. That was a great interview. Yeah, yeah. I really thank, appreciate that. Yeah, and thank uh, you. Yes. if you guys need more information, you have Instagram, you have we, Facebook? Yes, we do. We have Instagram. It's at the Scribe Bookstore. Okay. And Facebook is, again, the Scribe Bookstore. Scribe yeah. Bookstore, okay. Yes. And the address was 375? 375? 375 Danforth Avenue, right across Chester from now. Chester. Yes. Beautiful. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Thanks, we'll see you guys later. Come by, have a look. Meet Justin, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.